Hello, in the last video we were talking about showing that the relation twiddle defined by xy twiddles uv if and only if x squared plus y squared equals u squared plus v squared is an equivalence relation. So in the last video we, we did that and we did that by showing uh, reflexivity, uh, we showed that it was symmetric and we also showed that it was transitive. Now in this video we're going to interpret the equivalence classes geometrically. So let's start off by looking at an equivalence class of the point 0, 1. So this is the point um, in the Cartesian plane over 0, up 1. So there it is. Um, and really we could have picked any point, but I really like this point, so I'm going to choose that one to start with. So to find the equivalence class of this uh, point in the Cartesian plane, we need to find all of the xy's, all of the other points, uh, that twiddle with 0, 1. In other words, we need to find the set of points such that x squared plus y squared equals 0 squared plus 1 squared because that's what it means to twiddle. That's what the relation is defined as in this particular example. So if we want to find all of the xy points that satisfy this equation, let's simplify the right hand side and so we're reduced to looking at the set of points x squared plus y squared equals 1 and this is a circle centered at the origin with a radius of 1 and so if we were to draw that here in our diagram it would just be this set of points and so this is the equivalence class of 0, 1. And I'm going to put a bar over that to signify that's the equivalence class of 0, 1. And you may be wondering, um, how did I know this was a circle? Well, uh, in general, circles have the equation x minus h squared plus y minus k squared plus, oh, is equal to, excuse me, r squared where r is the radius and hk is the center. And um, formulas for circles and parabolas and hyperbolas and all those uh, sorts of things can be found in your favorite pre-calculus or calculus textbook or on Wikipedia or any sort of online source. Okay, so that was fun. Now let's find uh, an equivalence class of another point. So I'm going to take a look at a point like over 2 up 1. So let's find the equivalence class of the point 2 comma 1. So that's over 2 up 1. So if we go over 2 up 1 it's probably going to be here somewhere. So this is the point that we're going to be looking uh, to find the equivalence class of. So let's find all of the points x, y that twiddle with 2, 1. Well, this is like saying, find me all the xy such that x squared plus y squared equals 2 squared plus 1 squared. And again, that's just by the definition of this particular example uh, where twiddle means this particular uh, relationship between your x, your y, your u, and your v. So simplifying our equation, we get x squared plus y squared equals 4 plus 1. Simplifying a little bit further, we get x squared plus y squared equals 5. Okay, so as you can see, I've drawn that circle over here, and that circle represents the equivalence class um, of the point 2, 1. And so all the points that lie in this circle are uh, in the same equivalence class as that point. And that circle is represented as uh, this equation here, which is centered at the origin with a radius equal to the square root of 5. Now we could do one more here. Suppose we have the, uh, get a little bit thicker pen here. So suppose we are interested in finding the equivalence class of the point negative 3 comma 0. Well by our 
same process here. That would be like asking for the points x and y such that x squared plus y squared equals negative 3 squared. And working that out, that's x squared plus y squared equals 9. In other words, that's a circle centered at the origin with a radius of 3. Um, and that makes sense here because if we plotted our original point, which was negative 3 comma 0, the set of points which are equivalent to that are right here. And so what this uh, equivalence relation is doing, it's partitioning up the Cartesian plane.